What's going on guys? It's Eric from Intelligent Quads coming back at you with another video. Today we're I'm going to be doing a really short video that's just highlighting a really useful tool for viewing your ROS image streams. So when you guys are testing, it's really useful usually to be able to look at a camera view that's on, going on on your robot or maybe even the output of a vision uh, processing uh, stream, which is then being outputted on, on a ROS network. Um, and there's a couple different programs, but I think this is by far the best one that I've seen because it utilizes a web framework. Basically what it'll do is search for all the different image topics on your ROS network and allow you to view it from a web browser. And this allows a couple different things. One, it basically allows anybody who is on the same network as the robot to take a look at any camera or image stream that's happening on the robot from your web browser. It also allows multiple people to look at the same camera view at the same time. And those those capabilities are super helpful when you are developing a new robotic system. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys how to install this and how to run it. So let's get into this video. So today we're gonna be building the software from source and we're gonna need two different pieces of software. One, we're gonna need the async web server. And basically this is a dependency to the video web server, which is going to allow us to see the image streams that we want through the web browser. So what we're gonna first do is open up a terminal and we're gonna go into our Catkin workspace in the source folder. And then we're gonna go ahead and clone the async web server. And then we're gonna CD and check out the Nuetic uh, branch. And then while we're at it, let's just go right back to Catkin Source and clone in the web video server. And then we're basically just gonna hit it with a Catkin build. Boom, easy as that. All right guys, so basically I've just opened up a new gazebo world with a couple different drones. So we've got three different cameras on this ROS network. So when we launch the server, we should see all of these cameras available to view. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to launch the server. And it's pretty simple. So we're just gonna open up a terminal and we're gonna do a ROS run and then web video um, server and then just web video server and boom that's it easy as pie so if now if we go to our ip address and then 8080 we should see the web interface that is just created so let's do that so i'm gonna go to localhost 8080 and boom look at that we've got three different image streams that are selectable so let's go ahead and take a look at the camera from drone 2 and right there, we have the video from Drone 2 looking at Drone 1. So I know this wasn't a very long video, but I hope the package that I showed off in this video will really help speed up your guys' workflow and allow you guys a lot more flexibility on who is viewing your uh, images in your lab and um, how easily that can be done. So if you like this video, please smash the like button and let me know. Let me know if you guys like the shorter type videos and um, I'll see you in the next one.